In this class, we will use phpMyAdmin as the administrative tool to manage our database and to learn the SQL language. phpMyAdmin comes with the XAMPP software. You need to launch the control panel and start the Apache web server and the MySQL application in order to use phpMyAdmin. You will then launch your browser and type in localhost in the address bar. You will be redirected to the dashboard that has information for you and also has a link at the right to launch phpMyAdmin. You can also type in the URL localhost slash phpMyAdmin in the browser to access this program directly. You are looking at phpMyAdmin. phpMyAdmin is an application that actually runs in the web browser. Its purpose is to create and administer your databases. Many web hosting companies also use phpMyAdmin. On the left-hand side, you see a navigation area. We also see that there are five databases already here. The last one is a test database with nothing in it. phpMyAdmin is a web application that is built with a database structure and these databases are used to create the phpMyAdmin application. We see the IP address for our server, 127.0.0.1. This is the same as localhost. It is sometimes referred to as the loopback address. We have some tabs that we will look at later. This is the default coalition coding that we will be using in this class for our database. There are some other basic appearance settings. On the right, you see information about the database server, the Apache web server, and the phpMyAdmin program. In order to learn about databases, we first need a sample database to look at. Therefore, I will show you how to import the world database. There is an import tab, and that is for importing files. We can import a complete database. We can import individual tables in a database. We can import data in other formats also. I will click the Browse button, and I will search for my world database file. Here we have world.sql and you can actually open this in a text editor to see it. It contains commands used to create the database and the tables. It is available on Canvas. So I will select this to import it. I will keep the default settings here and I will click go. Notice the import has been successful. There were over 5,000 queries executed to create this database. Now on the left-hand panel, we see at the bottom the world database. If you click the plus sign to expand, you will see that there are three tables in our world database. We will explore those tables in the next video.